All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take the Potenzik Atom 2 out for a flight. And the reason why is because Potenzik has just come out with a major update, which includes waypoints. Now, I know this is something a lot of people have been asking for. So if you're looking for the update, it'll be for the Atom 2. It'll be firmware version 022. And for the standard remote is version 018. And as far as the app, I'm using an Android. So that version for the Android is 2.8.9. Not sure if it's different for, you know, an Apple device. And for the PTD controller, it is, um, the update will be version 159. So to get the update, uh, all you need to do is power on your app and make sure you're connected to some type of data service. And the prompt should pop up on the screen and all you need to do is click on a prompt and it should automatically start uh, downloading. And as far as the PTD controller, when you click on it, it should start downloading the firmware for the Atom 2 and for the app. All right, so to get to your waypoints, there's an icon here on the left side of the screen. Click on that and it'll bring up your waypoints option. Now from here, you can also open up the map to help plot the waypoints and all you need to do is just uh, tap on the screen and plot you know, where you wanna put your waypoints. And then also you have an option to set uh, a point of interest. What I'm gonna do is start plotting my waypoints. And I'm gonna plot the first one there. And it'll bring up some options. You can have the uh, camera start recording or stop recording, whatever. And then take, or take a picture or just do nothing. I'm going to have it start recording at the first waypoint. Then you can set your altitude. Altitude, I'm going to keep it at 1, 190 or something like that. And then your speed, I'm going to set it to global speed, but I'm going to change the global speed. And I want the global speed to be uh, around 25 feet per second. And then also in this settings here, you can, you can select if you want to go forward or reverse or for the signal loss, you want to return to home or just continue. At the end of the flight, uh, you want to go back to the start or you can land or hover or return to home. I'm going to leave it, I'm going to put it on return to home. And then the, you can also set like a customs altitude for everything. All right, so I'm going to back out of that. And as far as the heading, uh, I can set a point of interest for that if I want. So I'm going to go ahead and set the point of interest and I'm going to set the point of interest uh, towards the school. And you can adjust the height of that uh, and then also link a waypoint mission as well if you want. So the heading course, now I can choose the point of interest. Back out of that. And then as far as the gimbal, you can set it towards the POI or uh, manual. So as far as the POI, you can set the altitude of the POI so the altitude of the POI is basically like 20 feet, not even, I don't know. Um, so I'm assuming when the gimbal tilt, the gimbal tilt would be towards the POI, so it'll be facing downward. So hopefully that works. If I'm wrong, then uh, you know we can always change that. And then you can set the zoom uh, one or you know, four times zoom. I'm just gonna keep it manual. And then you can set the hover time at, at each waypoint from zero to 30 seconds. I'm just gonna leave it there. So now I'm just gonna start plotting some other waypoints. Go we'll go here, then back there, and then over here. At this waypoint, I'm gonna stop recording. And the altitude, uh, I'm gonna set it to like maybe 159 and I'm gonna set it to global speed and I'm gonna set it to all of them. So I set it to the global speed, I set it, applied it to all the waypoints. And the course heading, I have it POI and I wanna apply it to all. All right, that way I don't have to go through each one of them and set the same thing. And uh, as far as zoom and hover, I'm just gonna leave it there. So from there, you, you can go ahead and save it. I have a couple of other ones saved that I 
that I did earlier. So this one, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name it test one and hit that and go ahead and back out. And I'm gonna back out of this as well and go back in and it's actually, if you wanna save and exit, yes, I wanna save and exit just to be on the safe side. And uh, I'm gonna go back in. It should have saved it. To go pull up your save waypoint, just go back into that icon there and uh, there it is. You wanna select it and there's your waypoint mission. Everything should be the same. And you hit next. And we set this earlier, so you can set it forward or reverse or, you know, change up the parameters if you want. But from there, we're just going to go. So right now, the aircraft is on the ground. And uh, let's hit go and see what it does. And hit start. So it starts from the ground and you don't have to launch and then start your waypoint. And it'll go directly to the first waypoint. It'll go up to the height, uh, I guess, of the first waypoint and then go over to the first waypoint. Now, quick note, as you can see, it's flying backwards. And uh, you wanna make sure that you're clear of obstacles. You have your height set higher than all the obstacles. Or, you know, also just remember from your launch point, make sure there's no obstacles, obstacles around it because it'll just do what it needs to do and it wouldn't even pay attention to any obstacles because it doesn't have obstacle avoidance. All right, so my setting was correct. I had set the POI at a height of maybe 25 feet and the gimbal is actually uh, pointing towards 25 feet off the ground, which is cool, and it's pointing towards the POI. So uh, that's how that works. Now it's going to the next waypoint, I believe. It hit the first waypoint and second waypoint. Now it's going to the, the next waypoint. It's going to the third. And it automatically records. So I'm gonna put that footage up there as well. Actually, this is pretty nice. Now it's going to the last waypoint. And it should have like an arrow here. Maybe, uh, I mean, we do have 25 um, satellites. So it should have a, like an aerial representing the aircraft, but it doesn't here. All right. Winds are picking up. So it's re returning now. It finished its um, waypoint mission and I'm able to manipulate the gimbal as it's coming back. Now for my last test, as I was testing this, if you set it to coming, just come back to the uh, starting point, it won't allow you to manipulate the gimbal. But if you set it to return to home, it'll let you manipulate the gimbal. Just quick note. So now it's landing. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop this. And bring it over. Let's see if I can do a uh, drone X Factor land. Oh, oh, no, I cannot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that's what happens when you try something that you haven't done before. All right, so there you go. A new firmware update for the Atom 2, uh, which includes the waypoints. And that was a quick tutorial, uh, you know, just to show you what it's like. Now I'm recording this before the release of the uh, firmware. So um, as far as I can see, there's not, not anything uh, wrong with it or it's working uh, as it should. I'm still gonna test it a little more and try to do different parameters and see how that works out. 
So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful or even entertaining, please don't forget to uh, hit that like button. And also, if you want to see more Adam 2 content, uh, please, you know, definitely hit that subscribe button and notification bell for future content. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.